the sternocleidomastoid muscle. The sternocleidomastoid muscle, or SCM, wraps around the side of the neck. This muscle has two components, the sternal and clavicular divisions. The SCM functions primarily to turn the head and to provide spatial orientation feedback for the visual and auditory senses. Here are the landmarks for the SCM. You have the cervical spine, the skull, The origin of both SCM divisions is on the mastoid process of the occipital bone. The clavicular division of the SCM inserts on the medial clavicle and the sternal division inserts on the upper sternum. Bilateral contraction of the SCM produces cervical flexion while unilateral contraction of the SCM produces head rotation to the opposite side and or cervical lateral flexion to the same side. The ipsilateral upper trapezius and the ipsilateral scalenes assist the SCM during cervical lateral flexion. The upper trapezius opposes the SCM during cervical flexion. The opposite SCM opposes the SCM during head rotation. The opposite upper trapezius and the opposite scalenes oppose the SCM during cervical lateral flexion. Associated symptoms for the sternocleidomastoid trigger points. Clients may complain of pain in the back of the head, ear, forehead, top of the head, and the eye socket regions. Although this muscle is located in the neck, there is typically no neck pain and no neck stiffness associated with SCM trigger points. Clients will also complain of dizziness, vertigo, fainting following sudden movements of the head, sweating on one side of the forehead, redness or tearing of an eye, blurred, dimmed, or double vision, seasickness or car sickness, nausea, scratchy throat, and dry cough. Some factors that may activate or perpetuate trigger points in the sternocleidomastoid muscle include forward head posture, prolonged sitting with the head turned, using two pillows under the head while sleeping, looking up for a long period of time, automobile accidents such as whiplash injuries, scoliosis, lower limb length inequality or limping, chronic cough, tight shirt collar or a tight necktie, dehydration associated with hangovers, and sinusitis, dental abscess, or herpes simplex oral. Trigger points in the levator scapula, upper trapezius, and posterior cervical muscles are all associated with trigger points in the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Clients with active trigger points in the sternocleidomastoid muscle are commonly misdiagnosed with the following. Vascular headaches, migraine headaches, cluster headaches, trigeminal neuralgia, vertigo or dizziness, and torticollis.